Here we have an ancient caveman MacBook Pro that came in for repair. Let me show you what's going on. Turn it on. Battery should be charged. And we're going to be greeted with a white screen and nothing else. You're not going to see a logo. You're not going to see a folder sign. It's not going to boot up anywhere. We did hear the chime, which tells us the MacBook is working, but white screen. Now, Big Boss did his part where he tried to boot up from an external hard drive, disconnect the keyboard, disconnect the mouse, and all that good stuff. But same issue, white screen. Right now, we have one of the two options. Either we have a bad screen, let me disconnect the battery, or we have a problem with the display circuit, or maybe the LVDS connector. Let me disconnect the LVDS connector, and maybe we can go under the microscope and look at this together. Take a look at the LVDS cable, and it looks good to me. I do not see any damaged pins, or is that damage on the first two pins? Oh, I see damage. I think I see damage. On, no, no, it's not. I thought we had damage on the first two pins. We do not. So clean. LVDS pins are clean, and the LVDS connector is clean also. I do see a discolored component here, and I know from working on those boards that this component should be 0 ohms. Let me test quick. Meter in continuity mode. And do we have a continuous path from here to right here? Whoa, we do not. We are reading 27 kilo ohms instead of 0 ohms. Wow. Consider the job done. Two minutes in, and we are done. We can just send it like this to the customer and tell him we figured out the problem. Or we have to fix it first, and then we can send it back to him. Let me grab a donor board quick. I just want to make sure that that component should be zero ohms. In case I have a bad memory. And this one should be the same. Let's go under the microscope. And I see the same component right over here. Meter in ohms mode, and we're going to measure this component. Or let's put the meter in continuity mode. And see, are we going to hear a beep? You see? This component should be zero ohms. Wow, consider the job done. Right now, I do not want to use hot air. And I do not want to burn the LVDS connector. We have a lot of plastic right here. Let's go for hot tweezers. That would be our best option. And we're going to remove this component just like that. Just like butter and jelly. And we're going to use the NF.mini pen. We're going to apply two solder blobs, top and bottom. And that's enough. We do not want a lot. And let's go to our donor board, grab that component solder it on the customer's board and hope for the best. Now we're going to plug the screen back in, and hopefully that fixes the problem. Oh, 
right there, right there. You see, we have the folder sign. Folder sign is good. And the reason we have a folder sign is because we do not have a hard drive connected. Done, problem is fixed. How long did it take? A few minutes, right? It took us about a minute to figure it out and a few more minutes to replace the component. Awesome. I'm gonna hand this over to Big Boss to reassemble. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. Short video, I know, but what can you do? I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.